Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you are having the most fantastic day and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Well, today I am going to be sharing with you a glam DIY upcycle. I have several vase, uh, vessels here in front of me and uh, these are thrifted vessels as well as a Dollar Tree uh, item and a mirror and we're going to create a glam vanity set. I'm going to be doing some painting using this folk art multi-surface paint, the color is ink, and I hope you enjoy today's DIY. All right guys, now let's get started on the video. So we're going to go right into painting our glass pieces. Now, uh, before I begin painting, and if you're going to do this process, you want to cl thoroughly clean your pieces and then uh, wash them and dry them, of course, and then clean them and dry them, uh, clean them with alcohol and dry them. That will help your paint adhere. Also, you want to use an acrylic uh, a brush rather that is designed for acrylic and uh, try to get something you know it doesn't have to be the most expensive brush but it does need to be one of good quality and uh, basically you want to keep your brush strokes even paint in the uh, same direction as much as much as possible of course you do have to change direction occasionally uh, when you're painting in crevices and things like that now, with this multi-surface paint, uh, the pigment, as you can see, has really got a nice, rich uh, pigment um, to it. And um, really, with the first coat that you put on, you're going to get pretty good coverage. Now, usually when I use these acrylic paints, uh, I have to do three coats. But with this multi-surface paint, I only need to do two and I uh, seem to get the coverage that I want. And uh, what you want to do is put the first coat on, let it dry, uh, let your piece dry for an hour or two, then come back and put your second coat on. And then you'll be ready to um, start adding some embellishment. Also, this paint can be oven fired to make it permanent, and those directions are included on the label for you. Right, so now that uh, the pieces are dry, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some embellishment. I'm going to start here with uh, two of the medium size uh, thrifted containers, and basically I am using fabric trim. Uh, if you follow my channel, then you would know that I use fabric trims all the time, and usually I buy them from Joanne Fabrics. Now, this uh, trim is one that I've worked with in the past. I don't use it that often, but I have used it. And here you see me applying my quick hold glue, which is my glue of choice for uh, my fabric trims. That glue is made by E6000. Uh, I like to put the trim, put the glue on, then use a piece of cardboard to spread it out evenly. And uh, there you see I'm going to cover the entire bottom of my piece with uh, the silver fabric trim. Now I'm going to go over it uh, and make sure that it is laying flush before I move on to the next part of the DIY. Now for this part, what I've decided to do is add another layer of embellishment. Now here I'm using another fabric trim, again one that comes from Joanne Fabrics, 
Uh, this particular trim is made by Additions. And again, I will leave this information down in my description box. Now, I'm going to do this just to add another little a uh, bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more bling to the piece. And uh, of course, if you know my channel, you know that I'm not done. <laughs> I'll probably add a little bit more, uh, including a brooch uh, so that I'll have a nice focal point. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop talking. Let me let you watch me do this and I'll be back when we get to another part of the DIY. Right, so now we're going to move on and do the little Dollar Tree container. Uh, for that container, or for this container, basically, I'm going to use some of the same elements because obviously I do want this to be a set. Uh, I'm going to scale it down a little bit, obviously, because this piece uh, is a, a smaller piece. And what I'm going to do is use that same fabric trim and uh, I'll put some on the front. Uh, as well as the back, add some additional uh, embellishments and as well as a focal point. And uh, then this piece will be ready. All right, guys, so I'll let you watch me do this. I mean, the process is going to be, you know, similar. Uh, but again, I'm going to scale the embellishments uh, just, you know, a little bit smaller for this piece and um, or scale them back just a little bit so that they fit this piece but that they tie into the overall set all right guys um i will be back when we get to the next part of the diy
guys, I'm back. I'm going to jump on here for a second uh, as we go ahead and work on the larger piece or as I go ahead and work on the larger piece. Now, again, this piece uh, is a ginger jar, really. It's just shaped differently than a lot of the ginger jars that I work with. And for this one, as you can see, what I'm doing is going vertical for my impact statement. And then I'm going to add uh, various embellishments around uh, the bottom, the foot area, the, the uh, neck area, and of course I'll finish it off with uh, maybe a brooch or something like that. All right guys, so I'm going to let you watch me do this part and then I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
guys. Now I'm back and here you see me, uh, I, what I'm going to do here is put together one of the lids. Now <clears throat> for, I did make all together four lids for this project. I'm only showing you one because the other, most of the, the three lids for the smaller containers, I use the process that I normally use and I'll go ahead and link a video for you in case you haven't seen that. Now for the larger lid, as you can see, what I did is uh, instead of cutting out, you know, forms or using a wooden board, I basically just glued together two five inch mirrors because I needed a little bit larger lid. Now then what I decided to do, I wasn't sure if I was going to add uh, bling wrap or if I was going to just use uh, the five milli or rather the four millimeter closed chain wrap that you see me working with there. But in the end, I decided all I needed to do was to add the closed chain uh, wrap and basically to cover, uh, to add some embellishment and to cover where the mirrors are connected. And then I'm going to glue on my knob. Um, now here I'm basically just using my, I just used my E6000 quick hold and uh, I'm going to work my way around until I get the uh, four millimeter closed chain wrap glued in place and uh, that's it and this lid will be done. But again, I wanted to, I don't always leave the lids in because I make so many of them and I know some of you have seen that process over and over. But if this is your first time uh, watching my video uh, or one of my videos, please go down in the description box because I have left uh, a video link down there where you can see how I made uh, the other three lids that were included in this DIY. All right, guys, so I'll let you watch me finish up this lid and I will be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. Alright guys, so now I'm going to move on and start working on the vanity mirror. Now for this, I just simply have two 12 inch mirror squares, or mirror rounds I should say, and two 12 inch cake boards. So I won't have to cut anything out, uh, everything is already the, the size that I need. Now the first thing, as you can see, uh, I just basically remove the rubber stops from the back of my mirror so everything will lay flush. And then I'm going to use my E6000 quick hold and I'm going to glue the mirrors and the cake boards together. Now the reason I have, I'm using two cake boards is just so that I get the thickness that I want uh, for my mirrors. And uh, once I get everything glued together and I know that everything is set, then I'll go ahead and start applying my trim. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim uh, the mirror. And for this part, basically uh, for, the, um, for the trim, I'm gonna work with a combination of scraps, uh, regular bling wrap, bling wrap scraps as I call it, 
and also some flour mesh to get the look that I want. So first, uh, what I'll do is cut the uh, regular bling wrap into uh, strips. There you see me just taking a little alcohol and cleaning the mirror. Uh, those fingerprints are starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna cut the, the uh, regular bling wrap into strips. And again, I'm working with scraps for this part and I'll make sure that I cover uh, all the way around so that I have a nice base. And uh, also I wanna make sure that none of the cake board shows through. And uh, for this piece, I'm, for this part, I'm just using my E6000 quick hold glue. And then once I get this done, then I'll go ahead and add the flower mesh. Now that the flower mesh uh, and all the trimming is done and I'm satisfied with that, what I'll do here, as you can see, or what I am doing, is just kind of cleaning the mirror and prepping the mirror for my vanity legs. Now for, or the mirror legs. Now for the mirror legs, I am working with crystal knobs, the same types of knobs that I use a lot for my uh, lids, you know, that you see in my vanity pieces and I'm working with the round 
knobs for this and I'm basically gluing them into place to make sure that my mirror is balanced. As you can see, I've kind of got them uh, at all four basically lined up as evenly as possible and I'm going with four of them. Now uh, for the adhesive I'm using a combination of my E6000 quick hold so that I get a fast set as well as my regular E6000 so that I have a nice strong hold. Now once I get these glued down I will let this uh, glue uh, set and cure for a bit and uh, then come back and as you can see I've already done that and I did of course the magic of YouTube uh, you don't see it but I, I did let it cure overnight and uh, well not overnight but for a few hours and now I am back and I'm going to add just a few decorative gems um, and uh, basically for my gems as you can see I've laid out a little pattern I want them to just be in the front uh, of my little vanity display rather than all around the edges which you may have seen me do before if you follow this channel and uh, I'm going to just glue them down now I'd love to glue them with some quick hold or some other glue but every time I use or every glue that I've ever tried that's a permanent glue disc it always discolors the gem the gems rather so I've learned to use my hot glue gun and set it on low rather than high and uh, although I do have to come back sometimes and reattach my gems it does not discolor the gems and it gives me the look I want all right guys hang on because after this it'll be time for the final reveal This is how the royal blue and silver vanity set turned out. I do think I like it, but you let me know what you think. Let's take a closer look at everything. I really like the mirror, and I definitely am glad that I just did the gems in the front. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go and put this on my vanity right away and start using this set and change it out from the one uh, I've got there currently. Um, as you can see here, uh, just kind of showing you a close-up of what the larger piece looks like. Um, again, that'll be a great place to store things such as makeup brushes and things like that. There's a close-up of that lid, which again, I made that a little differently than I typically would. And I think it, I did make the right choice in just going with the uh, four millimeter uh, wrap. Uh, rather than the normal bling wrap. There's a close-up of the little Dollar Tree uh, container, how that turned out. And again, I have a video link, uh, I have a link rather down in the description box to show you how I typically make these, these types of lids for those of you that haven't seen that process before. Uh, there's a close-up of the medium-sized containers. Um, I do really like those. It's a little bit different than what I would typically do, especially going with the silver trim around the, the base or the bottom half of the container. I think that gives it a slightly different look. Um, overall, really happy with this piece or this set, but you guys let me know what you think. Now guys, if you're not a member of this channel, and uh, you, you know, like this kind of decor or these kinds of DIY uh, videos, then I hope that you saw something here that you like today and you'll decide to subscribe. Now here we're looking at, as I typically do, like to show you pieces that are from other DIYs. There you see some of my purple pieces that I've done. Uh, also, there are some dollar tree apothecary jars that's another DIY uh, there in the back um, now even though these the purples they look like they're the same shade they're really not one is a purple topaz and one is a you know like a true uh, purple and um, 
I'll make sure there are two different videos actually, but I'll make sure to link those down in my description box. So again, guys, that's really all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please make sure that you go and visit uh, my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy, as well as the Glam Decor channel, because I am going to be doing some videos using these pieces on both of those channels. So again, like I say at the end of every video, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day or a wonderful night.